Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to install kubectl client on Windows. So in order to install kubectl, you have to refer the official Kubernetes documentation. So let's go ahead and search for kubectl install and you can visit the first link called install tools. So from here you can select the operating system of your choice. So if you are on Linux, um, you can directly download the binary, the kubectl binary and uh, once you do it all you have to do is you have to move to a path so where uh, your uh, linux operating system can detect all the binaries so in this case if you see after downloading so they have changed the uh, executable permission of the kubectl binary and then they uh, created this bin directory and moved into it so if you don't have this particular path that is um, the dot local bin in your path you can move it to user bin so this user bin will be uh, in your path so kubectl will be detected from any location and if you are on windows you can simply click on this um, install kubectl on windows so from here if you have curl installed on your windows you can directly download the exe file but um, you know curl.exe will not be available in uh, most of the distribution so what we will do is we'll just go to the releases page of um, kubectl and uh, if you directly click on this so um, you know you're directly getting the kubectl.exe download option or else um, you can also go to kubectl release a space in the github repository and you can also download from here so once your download is completed so if you see i have kubectl.exe but this one um, i cannot invoke any kubectl um, you know commands from any location so what you have to do is we have to move this to a path I mean some location inside your file system and then add that location um, basically into the environment variables that is path environment variable so in my case I'm just cutting this particular uh, exe file and then um, uh, what I will do is um, I have already created this tools directory inside my C track and if you see already I have this kubectl.exe and I've just replaced it and what you have to do is you have to just take this path that is c drive tools if you are uh, if you have pasted this in different directory all you have to do is you have to take the complete path then what you have to do is you have to search for the environment variables that is um, edit the system environment variables and click on the environment variables here or else what you can do is you can right click on this pc go to properties uh, from here i think you cannot get it um, so we'll directly search for the environment variables and uh, click on this edit environment variables go to this environment variables and uh, double click on this path so if you see i already have the c drive tools so if you have to add it for the first time just click on this new button and simply paste this c drive tools and click on ok in my case it is already added so i'm just clicking on cancel so this you have added for the user variables you, have, you can also do for system variables too just double click on the path again click on add i mean new button and uh, add this c drive tools so if you see i already have this here so i'm going to just delete this line and click on ok click on ok so here we have now updated the environment variables with the path of our kubectl.exe binary file then once um, this is done so you have to close any existing terminals if you are testing kubectl earlier then open any fresh terminal and uh, you can just type for kubectl version or um, any command that is related to kubectl since uh, i don't have any actually run a running cluster so it is not working so simply just uh, type kubectl and press enter if it is responding with something which means that kubectl is installed perfectly on a windows machine thank you and i'll see you in the next one